Welcome to another Let's Play Pico 8 video. And today, I'm going to be going a little outside of my comfort zone. The game called Brutal Race. Now, why do I say I'm going out of my comfort zone? Well, as gamers, everyone's got their kryptonite. They've got something they don't really, they're not really very good at. And driving games are my kryptonite. But, I thought be worth having a go and seeing what this is about. There are not that many driving games on the Pico 8, so I figured it would be good to just give this a bash. Right, let's have a look at the menu. So you, you, you actually do two plays on this, which is pretty cool. You can set the AI difficulty and you can choose the track. And there are six tracks to choose from. It doesn't, it doesn't look as though you have to unlock them or anything like that, but we'll see. And you've got... Wow. Good God, you've got ten ships to choose from. Alright. So, a bit of variety there. Let's give this a go. So as you can see, it's a futuristic racer, a la F-Zero or Wipeout. Yeah, along those lines. The graphics, really nice. Good use of a 3D in Pico 8 there. Music's pretty cool. And bearing in mind, this is also the very first time I've ever played this, so I'm not fully familiar with the controls yet. I'm just assuming that pressing the X button is accelerator, and the other button is the brake. So I've passed one guy, and the rest of them have um, all sped off. I'm not entirely sure what I can do to um, speed up. I seem to be maintaining constant speed. Um, So there was a couple of things I was doing there that, that seemed to create a boost. So I'm guessing that's how you get your speed up in this. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But it looks very nice. The little guy in the HUD's pretty cool. I'm not really entirely sure what all those... those, those Bars four, but let's see. And so I've got a little boost, but it's not really doing me much good. And I've lost this race. Yeah. Told you I wasn't very good at driving games. Now let's try another ship. That one looks pretty cool. Here we go. Aha, ah, so it's press up to charge boost, I see. Aha, uh -huh. now I get it. It's all about charging the boost at the right time to get in front. I get it now. So what 
happens when you don't read the text on the screen. Well, I could have looked on the uh, BBS before I start playing this, but hey, where's the fun in that? So, I'm in third place right now. So what to say about this game, other than the fact that I'm shit at it, it, as I've said before, it does look and play very well. Um, if you like races, you'll like this, no doubt. Um, let's try another ship. Do another course after this, but I can't do the first course, so I'm not going to do any others well, by all accounts. Um, yeah, so looks and plays very well. Nice and speedy. Zips along nicely on the with the, with the uh, 3D engine on here. Let's try another track.
Yeah, so it's all about timing those boosts and using the um, those bits on the side of the track. Which I still need to get better at. Doing a little bit better this time around, but I still lost. You've got to come first. All right. Well, I'm not going to play this anymore. You get the idea. It's a pretty good game for what it is. Again, nice and zippy on Pico 8 with the 3D engine. Very impressive stuff indeed. Um, if you're better at driving games than I am, you'll probably get more out of it than I do. So this is probably going to be the only time I play this. So, like I said, I do like it for what it is. You like it more if you like this sort of thing. So, that's it. Yep, thank you for watching. See you next video.